It's a long time, 50 years at the BBC, but I've been very lucky. I've been fortunate that I love football and it's become my job. It's left for other people to say whether they think it's been incredible. Because obviously I've been a person for 50 years who's talked about other people's achievements and interviewed them about their reactions. People are now trying to, wanting to talk to me. And it, it does seem a, bit, a little bit back to front, if you know what I mean. But I think Trevor Brookings next, well, he is next to me, and I think... <laughs> you've got to have a decent voice, uh, you've got to have a sense of timing, you've got to know when to talk and when not to talk, and I think you've got to try and get across essentially what the viewer can't experience at home, which is the excitement in the crowd, uh, something that you might spot, you know, which the cameras are just about to reach that still hasn't become apparent. You are the eyes and the ears of the viewer. You know, if I wasn't commentating on, on a Saturday or a Sunday, I don't quite know what else I'd be doing. I'm dedicating this to the BBC Sports Department, where I've worked for, as you said, 50 years and been so grateful to have so much professional support behind me. And to BAFTA, thank you ever so much. I never saw this coming. <laughs>